Okay, so low glucose comes up often in conversations. And one thing we know is there are many factors which can cause low glucose. So what exactly is low glucose and what can cause it? Yeah, so typically when we think about low glucose, we're talking about glucose that is under 70 milligrams per deciliter. This is a pretty um, widely established um, level for what we'd call hypoglycemia. And for a person without diabetes, glucose can look low on the continuous glucose monitor for several reasons. First, it could just be that the person just put on their sensor in the past 12 to 24 hours and that the sensor is still calibrating. Um, so it could actually be reading lower um, sort of artificially while it's during its calibration process and may actually bump up a little bit after the sensor is fully calibrated, um, which we typically sort of see happen in about the 12 to 24 hour time frame. The second thing is it, it could just be that the person just had a meal that caused a large glucose response and then kind of came crashing down. And that's a process called reactive hypoglycemia, a post-meal crash in glucose, um, because the body essentially released a lot of insulin after a big spiking meal, and you actually dipped below your pre-meal baseline, and you may fall below 70 during that. And usually that will recover back to normal fairly quickly. A third thing is that glucose can look lower overnight, and this is also for, for several reasons. The first is that glucose naturally um, tends to dip during REM sleep by about 5%. Um, and if you look at large studies of people without diabetes wearing continuous glucose monitors, their nighttime glucose generally tends to be a few points on average lower than their daytime glucose. A second thing with sleeping that's important to keep in mind is that sometimes when we lay on our sensors and actually put pressure on it while sleeping, it can induce what's called pressure-induced sensor error, which is where that pressure actually just causes an anomalous reading. So that's something to keep in mind if you see really sharp but quick uh, dips during the night. Um, Glucose can also look low just because of the type of diet that you're on. So if you're on a ketogenic, low-carb diet and eating very, very few carbohydrates and, and making ketones, which are the product of fat burning for energy, it's possible that your glucose can just look fairly low and flat and stable compared to the average person. So we definitely see several of our, our ketogenic um, members seeing sort of a somewhat lower um, level of glucose during the day. And the last thing that I'll mention is that with any wearable, um, any fitness tracker, any test, there's going to be some margin of error. And interestingly, for the continuous glucose monitor, particularly at lower values, the CGMs tend to be slightly more inaccurate. So particularly if the sensor reading is giving a value somewhere between like 40 and 60, there's actually a more than likely chance that the glucose is actually um, in the bloodstream higher than this. It's going to be reading lower on the sensor than what's already in the, than what's in the blood for many of these um, cases. So that's something to keep in mind. But certainly if there's low glucose on the sensor, um, you know, and you are concerned about this, um, sometimes what I'll do is I'll verify it with a finger prick glucometer. So I'll just take a finger prick of my blood, you know, of my blood and, and just check to see what's actually happening in my blood compared to what's being seen on my sensor. And these glucometers can be purchased at pretty much any pharmacy and are very easy to use. Um, but um, having said that, if someone sees a low glucose value on their sensor and it's associated with any symptoms um, of hypoglycemia or any concern, they should certainly seek medical attention.